Our books and games give you and your young one a bird's eye perspective on patterns that emerge when individuals interact. You learn to analyze these patterns with math, computers, science, and art. These are patterns like birds of a feather flock together, but also segregation and coexistence. In TIP, you try to take over an ecosystem made up of three species, but it's difficult. Coexistence often lasts a very long time. We have a version of this game, which is a microbial TIP made up of three types of bacteria. And you will see that, as in real life, the three types can last a long time. They can coexist. The computer simulations are very easy to run on the web. They make it easy to see the patterns of coexistence that occur. Now, Tolerance is a really fun and beautiful looking game that shows segregation emerging even when the players are relatively tolerant. We show you an alternative game that overcomes this problem and achieves integration. It's so much fun to try to win these games and then you see these patterns emerge, patterns you wouldn't expect. That makes these games complex systems. Individuals are constrained by simple rules, but their actions affect neighborhoods. Changes in neighborhoods affect individuals' next move. This feedback produces surprises. Intolerance, no crab wants segregation, yet segregation occurs. Somewhat similarly, birds of a feather flock together in these simulated birds, following just a few simple rules of flocking. These simple rules can generate quite complex patterns. Rules of aligning and separating, segregating two clusters of birds. We're surrounded by complex patterns that come from simple rules. We participate in nature's pattern formation when we paint the spirals, counting them, modeling them, simulating them. That's pretty. Very simple rules generate these beautiful spiral patterns. When florets grow outwards and naturally fill the space so that they most efficiently fill the space, they naturally turn at the golden angle forming these beautiful clockwise and counterclockwise spirals that we exploit in our coloring book. Now when you, you take a golden angle spiral and you color counterclockwise or clockwise, this is a great way to reveal nature's golden ratio. Here we show counterclockwise spirals, and if you color them a different way, you can show the clockwise spirals. The numbers, when you count them, are always Fibonacci numbers, and when you take the ratio of the number of counterclockwise and clockwise spirals, you get the golden angle. Very simple rules of chemistry can generate gloriously beautiful patterns chaotically oscillating, never exactly repeating. Simple rules leading to complex patterns in our models and our board games make these complex systems a fun way to learn about the beautiful patterns that surround us.